or I always go up to Cheyenne Frontier Days and photograph up there. And I, I like to go up the night before and either that or get up and drive up there really early in the morning before daylight. But I like to get out at the fairgrounds before there's anyone around. And usually there's some cowboys out there and they've got their horses tied up. I just love the way the yellow ring jacket was on this back of this saddle. The look of the saddle, the way the horse was standing there, and it was just its a great image. I remember every painting that I do. I remember doing it. I remember the process of doing it. I remember the image, everything about it. The little things that I discovered uh, about that painting that I loved. When I did the yellow rain jacket, one of the things I loved was the way the veins showed on the horse's flank that nobody else would probably even think about, you know, the way the the light was hitting on the rain jacket. There was kind of, I guess there must have been a little breeze because this horse's mane, there was one part of it that sort of was sticking up, you know. These cowboys, uh, these team ropers like this guy, that that horse, they take inner tube and cut it in little thin strips and they wrap it around the saddle horn so that when they put their rope around that, it'll grab. And of course, most people wouldn't understand that, you know, but... Uh, I think too many people that do Western art are kind of frozen in the past, you know? And for me, I'm, you know, I, paint, I, I consider my paintings painting of a rural America, but I wouldn't, I th my paintings are very, I think, extremely contemporary. And I think they're contemporary not only because I use an airbrush, but of the imagery. You know, because I paint exactly what you see out in the country today. And so many of the people, you know, who do what I consider Western art, do paintings of images that really aren't there, you know. I think you have to paint what you know and what is happening now. I'm just painting the West the way I think the West really is today.